What's up, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Fallout Craft for the Fallout Craft series. Let me start off by saying a big thank you to all of you. Uh, I'm so excited to see the enthusiasm behind the series. You guys have expressed just how excited you are and how eager you are to see more of these type of builds, which is absolutely astounding. I mean, I thought I was the only one that enjoyed doing this. And I'm glad to see that there's even more Fallout fans in the Minecraft community. It's, it's fantastic. It's great. <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing a Fallout outfit right now. It's my uh, vault suit underneath of my uh, NCR Ranger jacket, which is super cool. And uh, I'm just just excited. I'm excited to see the, uh, the warm welcome this series has received. So thank you. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to try to just dance around a bit. I don't want to lose my train of thought here because I've tried to record this episode a few times, actually. And um, this is going to be a very easy, chill episode. Which, speaking of episodes, yeah, we discussed a lot of the types of content that we could probably do for this series. And um, I think you guys unanimously agree that you guys want all sorts of content for this series. So all of you already know what type of videos the comparison videos will be, except I'll probably do those a little bit better if I can. Because the Vault 76 video, the comparison video for that, was actually just a joke. I didn't take it really seriously. I just did a quick side by side and uploaded it. Uh, to just kind of toss out there for people to to just quickly enjoy it wasn't really meant to be anything serious but you guys loved it so i think we'll definitely do more of those and those will probably only be done once we finish completely updating or building a new build or one of the current builds but a lot of the other episodes that might appear in this series will be much like what we're doing now it's just kind of hanging out talking about the builds uh you know ideas and things of that nature I'll be teaching you guys what I do to create some of these builds and um, just, you know, more, more of answering your questions and just hanging out as a community because, you know, I, I value you guys. I value your feedback and I really value your support. So I think it's fair to say that you guys can expect um, a lot of a combination of things like what was discussed in the prologue video. Now, I'm aware that some of you may not be aware of what fallout is or just maybe not that interested in it because it's not really your style or type of thing and that's quite all right fallout takes place in the real world it it takes place on our earth and the fallout universe splits off into its own timeline sometime back in the 1950s instead of the world going towards the microprocessor like our real life world did um, the Fallout universe ends up following a nuclear-powered type situation. And eventually resources start to dwindle, the world goes to war, and a great war happens where everything is handled with nuclear bombs and the world gets irradiated to kingdom come. It's, it's just a really fascinating world, but what I think what I enjoy about it the most is that I can walk around and actually go to locations that exist in our real world. And there's a lot of other reasons why Fallout is fun. And I don't need to get into it here because we're, we're doing something entirely different. But yeah, it, it's, a, it's a great game and I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't. But what I like to do here is actually just build Fallout type structures. I mean, we've got a satellite array there from Fallout 4. We've got the mass fusion tower from Fallout 4. We've got Diamond City from Fallout 4. And actually Diamond City uh, is actually Boston's Fenway Park. That's what that location is based off of. In Fallout 4, they just turned it into a little micro city within a baseball stadium called Diamond City because it's on a baseball diamond. And um, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, little things like that that make bringing it over here to Minecraft fascinating because you can actually make these locations look quite nice and uh, just a lot of fun to also explore in Minecraft. Now, I think it was one of you, I think James, James also expressed that it's kind of hard to find references or you know, ideas. And um, I totally get that. It totally depends on how you're searching sometimes. Um, for example, you can go to Google. Google is probably one of the greatest tools that you could use for searching for references. Um, it's, it's just a great, great tool. And it really depends on how you're searching in Google. 
For example, you could type in Red Rocket Station and you'll probably get a few Fallout Red Rocket pictures there. But you can also search for Fallout 4 Red Rocket Station or Fallout 4 Red Rocket or Fallout Red Rocket. So it really depends on your word choice and every single search that you do that way may produce slightly different images each time. You'll get a lot of the same, but you'll also get slightly different ones. And sometimes that gives you just enough to really just kind of keep building. The other way to do things like this, especially if you're doing Fallout builds or any other type of build based off of another location in another video game is to load up that video game. Load it up, take lots of screenshots, and just keep at it. Play with scale, play with color, and eventually you'll have something that looks really, really nice. So reference images are great. Concept art is absolutely amazing. Concept art by itself is just beautiful. But um, yeah, don't be scared to search for things in, in different ways. All right, so we've discussed that we'll be doing probably a variety of different type of episodes for this series. And that's going to be super interesting. Uh, I believe it was Ilian that brought up story. Story is going to be a really cool thing to do, and we may try to do that. I don't know if I can guarantee that, though, because creating story actually requires a bit of time. And uh, the reason I'm doing this in creative is because well, I just don't have time to do uh, more survival uh, type things. And I've already built a lot of these builds in survival already. I built Mass Fusion and Diamond City and the Super Duper Mart and the Red Rocket and a lot of other things in survival on Gopher's Minion Land series. And, um, you know, there's just no need for me to go back and do that in survival again. And just because I'm doing a survival series right now on the channel and trying to work in time for a survival SMP as well, I, I just can't pick this up in survival either. So doing story uh, is going to be an interesting way to work in something else. Um, not impossible. I'm not ruling it out just yet. But maybe we can do short stories for each build that aren't tied into the other builds. That way it doesn't involve me thinking of how to progress or continue. Uh, definitely, definitely something I'll consider. I don't quite know just yet. Or maybe, maybe if you guys are signed up to the membership program on the channel, maybe I'll create a story for you at a specific build. We'll work together on that. And that might be a lot of fun as well to kind of incorporate. So, so far, I've been just kind of running around this, trying to add a little bit more texture variation. And what I mean by that is you can see, let's go to our billboard back here. Fallout 4's Red Rocket has a big, massive, decayed, ruined billboard in this corner of the area. And you can see here that we have quite a bit of texture variation. What I did was I used the stone block and the wool as some type of base block and what I mean by that is let's take some of this stone block and you'll create a base you'll build out your build in a simplistic manner right this is your billboard just like that and then if you want to add a little bit of texture to that or a little bit of color variation you'll start to knock random blocks out just like this right and you can kind of see now that introduces just a little bit of texture or color difference. You have the stone texture and then you have this kind of alternating wool texture, but the color difference is not too different from each other, but the wool provides for a little bit of a lighter spot. And that looks nice. It still looks rather simple though, but it's much better than just a straight stone wall. Then what you want to do is probably grab a little bit of a darker spot like this cobble, which actually provides a greater amount of texture as well and you can start to vary that throughout the billboard as well and you can see how that kind of draws your eye towards those darker spots but also adds for uh, just a little bit more of decay too post-apocalyptic builds are really uh, unique in this way they also kind of require this because nothing is perfectly clean and well built in a apocalypse and if it is it's a lie <laughs> but um you definitely want to try and just make things look a little kind of ruined you don't want it to be perfect you want things to kind of sag and hang and be broken for that reason you can knock stuff out add these bars in 
or you can even let's grab like a fence right let's grab a fence here we'll go to the signs right we'll grab a sign too you can grab a fence as we were saying and put a fence there and it kind of looks like the inside of a wall with like the uh the beams going through or the or the uh you know the post for a wall you can add a sign over it to kind of make it look like it's boarded up or if you have a window you can do that and make it look like it's boarded up so you can do that to really make something look damaged or broken you can knock out the sides too make make it look like it's being held together by something right whether it's a sign or a or a fence or bars or something you can make it look held together in, in those ways eventually once you have gotten to a point where you get happy or, or more comfortable with doing this type of style you end up with something that looks like this and you know it's not really pretty don't get me wrong it's not pretty but when you start to kind of see things in a post-apocalyptic manner it looks fantastic and here with like the fallout station uh you can kind of see how we alternated a lot of the cobble walls I say fallout station the red rocket station you can kind of see the cobble and the stone brick walls alternating throughout these pillars right here these angled pillars that hold up the rocket and the roof it's it's uh it creates for a little bit of, of decay right same thing with the stone slabs and the smooth stone slabs there's alternating texture color and pattern throughout this so it kind of makes it look like it's getting old it's not well maintained you have some cracks here some cracks there among the smooth stuff uh, you just got to provide that variation in here it makes things look very interesting and it's more unique and a great way to do that with the bricks is you know let's add some cracks you can even add some mossy ones so you can see like maybe some overgrowth is happening that makes things look pretty cool there you go so so far the red rocket is looking pretty good there's probably a few things that i want to add change and maybe just kind of push a little bit further we've added the kind of grassy bushy type uh, surroundings with the walls here as the highway or road type boundaries that you might find here in the states and um we've added the payphones that are back here in this corner of the uh the red rocket station we may try to go back and add just a few more things i think i have to add a fridge here so we can probably let's grab let's grab some quartz blocks where's the quartz blocks at white wool smooth quartz block that might be kind of cool is this yeah that looks good and then what we might do is grab the door the iron door oh but the iron door is actually black in this build so it's kind of like a, a fridge here maybe i can like we got to find a good way to build a fridge maybe we can do some map art and just mimic a fridge that way so so far this is looking pretty good i think we might do a, a, a simple uh comparison vid for this and just because uh, it's such a small build it may be a short comparison video but i think it might be a lot of fun too so there's a few more things i need to do here and it may be done okay everybody if you like this video hit that like button because it'll let me know that you do like it and it'll also support the channel and if you really do like it please do subscribe your subscriptions are free and they really support the channel it really does but also you can find things in the description of the video things to the membership perks so there's many many perks there and i may start to maybe include perks for this series as well so keep an eye out for that but also you can find links to my discord where you can share and talk about more of minecraft or fallout things and just many other things too the discord's crazy we we upgraded it it's lots of fun and I, I hope to build really just a great community there as well so thanks again i really appreciate all of you and i look forward to discussing and creating more with you here in fallout craft until next time i'll see you all later and have a good one see ya